Hey everybody, welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. I will be doing the show today. Well, I do the show every day. It's on. <laughs> okay. It's going to be one of those shows where I am completely entertaining myself throughout the show. If you're not ready for that, get ready. All righty, so we are going to get started right away. I just have a few announcements that I think are, um, well, that I think I should say. So the first announcement is on May 12th, I'm going to be on the Talk in the Night show with Paranormal Phil. You guys can call in and be part of the show, get answers to your questions. It airs from um, 9 until 11 p.m. So it's a, a little bit of a different time frame, and I love that. It'll be great for people who normally can't call in during the day and get a hold of me. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff, spooky stuff maybe. I don't know. Paranormal stuff. It'll be so exciting. Okay. The other thing is um, <clears throat> May 22nd is the Superhero Stamp. Now, this is a 5K that my nieces have put together to raise money for children with cancer in the Pewaukee area. They created it. They started. They've kept it going. Um if you, if you have children that you want to bring out, um, typically like the ca characters from Star Wars are there and the children can dress up as their favorite superhero and there's a shorter run for children. It's an amazing event. There's lots of raffles and prizes. If you would like to donate a prize from your business for people to um, raffle on, buy raffle tickets for, please send it through. Happy to have it. Okay, next. Hey, Stevie. <laughs> Hi, Stevie. So, Stevie, I hope you're having a good day today. Um, and I want to say hi to everybody listening on um, YouTube and those of you who listen afterwards, my, my loyal friends and such. So, uh, uh, right now we have Sal. Hey, Sal. Um, Genevieve and Heather, Vaughn, Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Uh, that makes me think of that song. Sweet Caroline. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yep. And I know there are other people. I think there are other people watching. They haven't said hi yet. If you are on YouTube, say hi. Um, let me know you're here. If there's a healing relationship with my kids. Okay, we're going to start a, oh, that's a good one. Okay, so uh, we're going to start a clearing, a healing on relationships in general, but especially with family members. We have healthy, loving relationships with family members. I get a no, let's clear that. Whew. And sometimes when I do these clearings, folks, um, I feel them because I'm helping to clear everything. <clears throat> So there's that. Okay, I think I have everything I need to say. Um, here we go. I'm going to go to the first caller. Now, if I call your area code, please make sure I am not on speakerphone. Number one, ear to your phone. Nope, phone to your ears, folks. <laughs> phone to your face. <laughs> Second, um, the second thing is have one specific question and or contact ready and a available for me. I'm going to go to 520-520. You are first up. How can I help you today? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Thank you. You're so welcome. Um, You're so welcome. Thank you. This is Lisa. And I'm, I'm just... I'm from Arizona, and I'm just wondering what happened with my friend, Gretchen. We were talking, we know each other from a group, and we were sharing a lot of c 
confidences. And then, you know, she was calling me. She was the one reaching out to me and being my support. And um, then she told me about an event where Blue Grass Festival was happening. She was invited to go. And, the, and she knows I'm trying to meet people. And she never invited me. And then we were in a group together talking, and she was inviting someone else. And what happened? Um, Can you tell me? Well, okay. So first and foremost, um, sometimes things um, kind of slow down a bit because the universe is saying be a little bit more self-dependent. And... Perhaps because she knew your personality very well, she understood you might not mesh very well with this group. Not everything is for everybody is what I'm hearing. The next thing I'm hearing is, um, you know, some the biggest message I'm hearing is this was not rejection, but it was protection. Even if you're trying to meet people, it doesn't mean that every event or every person is right for you. Um, you have to be uh, very, dis you have to use dis uh, discernment or your judgment. It, just because there is something, it doesn't mean I'm going to jump on it and be a part of it or I should be invited to everything. Again, sometimes. Sometimes things, they might be good for one person's frequency or vibration or where they are at a certain point in time. But at this point in time, it might not be right for you specifically. And I think more of what's going on right now is your angels, your guides are um, trying to align you with people that are... Um, more in alignment with where you're going and not where you've been. And I, I really, truly hope that makes sense for you. Okay. I just wondered if she start, was, I was trying to, if I started to see a side to her where she was playing games with me because I don't want any kind of association with toxic people. And, you know, I don't, I mean, she was inviting people in front of me to go to it. And then I said, well, how does a person find out about that event? How can I find out? And she gave me the website to go on. And then I called them and I found that it's kind of, it was only like 30 people. So I didn't go. I thought, oh, you know, I don't want her to feel that I'm intruding on her space. You know, I just, I, I was just confused because she was the one that started reaching out to me and calling me. and Okay, so... Um, um, no, anyway. here's what I'm going to say. And again, and thank you so much for calling in and stick on the line. I am going to say, um, one of the things I really want to say, and I cannot stress this enough, not everything is for everybody. And there are things that I'll do. Let's just say say with my sister, and there are things that I'll do with a friend and then there are things I'll do with a guy so <laughs> that did not okay that might not have come out the way I wanted it to come out that may have come out like with my guy friends with my guy friends okay now <laughs> oh down the rabbit hole we go it's so early in the day um what I mean is different people fit into different niches. Like my sister and I, we always do these sorts of things where friends and I will do these sorts of things. Okay. So maybe she knew your personality and what I'm hearing, the, the thing I'm hearing the biggest for you, um, there's two things. And I, I kind of, I put you on mute because I really want you to um, hear this without feeling like you need to come up with an answer for it. And that's the most important message that uh, they can give you right now. So what they're saying is, number one, uh, not everything is for everybody. 
a don't take it personally. Sometimes we tend to take things personally. I do. I take things very personally and I try to figure it out in my head like, why did it go this way? What what happened? Did I say or do? Like I'm always very conscious of those. I try to be very conscious of those things. And sometimes it's it's not personal. Sometimes it just is what it is. Maybe she thought because you knew about the event, she didn't need she didn't need to say, hey, you're invited. Maybe there was an assumption there on her part. But what I'm getting even bigger is not everything is for everybody. It doesn't matter if she invited you or not. If the universe meant for you to be there, you would have been there. Um, and don't take it personally. It's really important not to take some things personally. It's not about you and if you feel like she didn't personally invite me she told you about it maybe that was the invitation in and of itself you could have easily said do you feel like this is something that would be good for me um and we tend to get in our head every single one of us it's not just you every single one of us gets way in our head about why didn't this exact verbiage come out to me um, the people she was inviting, she was letting know about it. You already knew about it. So please don't take this personally. Don't take it as a rejection. What I'm hearing, and again, I cannot stress this enough. Not everything is for everybody. For whatever reason, maybe the next time this rolls around or the next thing that rolls around is more in alignment with you. But this, this one may not have been the perfect thing for you. I'm going to go directly to caller number 512. 512, what's your name and where are you calling from, love? This is Yvonne. I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Yvonne. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Hope you had a good weekend. I did. It was amazing. Thank you for, for asking. Um, um, how can I help you today, good. love? Thank you. Thank you. How can I help you today? Um, I had two interviews last week, and I was wondering if you knew I'd hear from either one. Yeah, well, actually, the way or you stated one? that, I have to be honest, I'm going to say, yes, you're going to hear from both of them. Um, that doesn't mean you're going to get both of them. I feel like there's a third interview coming in, and you're really going to be excited about this third interview coming in. I feel like Either you're going to hear about this position this week or this interview this week, or you're actually going to have the yeah. interview this week. I feel like the one coming in is going to be your strongest um, want or possibility. I do feel like you are going to um, hear from an interview you've done in the past. I hear that you are going to get one of them, but you're going to want this next one more. So keep going. I feel like as you go, you're going to keep getting better perspectives. Now, if when they offer you this position, say yes. And but if something else comes along, please don't hesitate to keep looking. And um, especially if it's something that feels or looks good to you to go to that it, just because you said yes, still go to the next interview and see what that's all about and if it's not more pay because I feel like you're going to get a yes but then something with a little bit more pay is going to come in now whether that's in a week or so meaning it could be a little bit longer down the line excuse me it's okay keep keep uh keep your options open is what I'm hearing and again I'll, I say this all the time <clears throat> Once you have a yes, the universe, it, it's so weird. We have that relaxation and the universe opens for us. And then all of a sudden, all these other invites come or more opportunities come in. So it's really important for you to stay in that place where you are being open to the universe. I do feel like you're going to have some money luck coming in also. And I do feel like that's going to be within a month to a month and a half. Now, money luck can be getting that yes for that position. It can also be um, just a little extra money 
coming in. Now, I'm not telling everybody go buy a lotto ticket. But I do feel like if it, I just feel like it's it's not a ton of money, but it is some money that comes in that um, is a little extra money, and you feel really good about it. Um, it and maybe it could even be a, a sign on bonus that you get from a company. I'm not sure, but when that comes in, please do enjoy it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Excellent. You're so Have a wonderful week. You you too. And I'm going to do, um, let's do a clearing right now um, for everybody looking for the perfect job or work or a job. Um, the universe is aligning me with my perfect uh, work or career opportunity. Let's clear that to a solid yes. Um, I am getting multiple job offers. I get a yes. Let's strengthen that. Okay, there we go. Let's clear that. And if you want to come back and um, and re-listen to this, if you feel like you need to, or you feel like you need to share that with somebody, please feel free to do that. I'm the reason I do all the clearings through the show or the healings through the show is because I do want everybody to be in that healthy, happy place of being able to move ahead in this um, world, especially at this time. Okay, Yvonne? Whew. Yes, thank you so much. You have a blessed week. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go directly to caller 415. 415, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. This is Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How's New Mexico? Hey. <laughs> How, how can I help you I today? Um, found a place. I, you know, I know you did a lot of, last week you did a clearing for finding a place mm -hmm. to live. And it was in the works, but now it's for sure. And so um, I don't think it's a forever place, but I feel good about it. And he, it's a sharing of a, it's a beautiful house and she's an art collector. Um, I feel good about it. Any. Um, feelings you get about that location? Well, the first thing I'm getting is don't get comfortable. Um, I uh -huh. feel like, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. I do feel like it is a beautiful place. You're correct. I do feel like you need to keep looking. If you feel like you want to take this place or you need to take this place, go ahead and do that. But do keep looking. I feel like it, this has a... I'm hearing three to six months at the most. Okay, Kate. Um, I do. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's the oh. plan. For you heard you got the you got the plan. Okay, excellent. Well, good. I'm getting accurate answers. That's always good to know. I am hearing. Keep looking. I do feel like there's going to be another um, transition coming in, and when that comes in, that it's going to be very powerful for you, and you need to run with it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, that's when I got it, we said six months max. And because for sure I want um, my, you know, a different, my own place that I can move all my furniture in. So, but this is, uh, I wanted a peaceful kind of transition place. So yes. I feel that's, seems like we're saying the same thing. So, I yeah. think, and it's important to understand that if it's for three months, it might be healthier than if it pushes the whole six months. Okay, love? Great. Thank oh, you. You okay. are so, so welcome. And I'm happy that the clearing from last week helped listen to it again as you look for your next jump in places. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You are welcome. I'm going to go directly to 201. 201, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. This is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New Jersey. Okay. How can I help you, love? I'm looking for um, a connection to the other side. First name and relationship to you? Anything. First name and relationship, love? Lola. Lola? Lola, mother. 
Okay, yeah. there we go. Yep. Please okay, so guidance. she is spicy. Your mom was spicy. She had like, I use the word spicy, but she was a strong woman. She was really strong. She was, she didn't, she didn't take, if this is the right woman, if I, if I'm connecting with the right woman here, I feel like you're, um, she was very, she had, um, a strength about her or a sassiness, a spiciness about her. Like you wouldn't talk back to her. You wouldn't talk back because she would, she would let you know exactly how it was. Is that accurate, love? Yes, it, it sounds more like a mother, but it, it's her as well. Okay, so I I'm seeing, well. I'm going to tell you, yes. I see one woman to the right of me, and then there's another woman behind me that is um, talking. But both of them have this characteristic, so I believe both of them are here, and I get goosebumps on my legs as I say that. What I'm going to tell you, the biggest thing that they want to tell you right now I, first, let me ask you, love, do you have a question for them? Is there a reason you want to connect with them today? Is there something you need to know from them? Yes, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to get help so I can move forward. I need, I need to move. I'm taking care of a house that I need to move in, and I just want my family to come to terms with it. Okay. Um... So, okay, so what I'm hearing is, um, and get, give me a, a little bit of a second here, <clears throat> because even as you hear in my voice, the way, what I need to say needs to be said in a certain way, and, um, Okay, so they're singing a song. Thank you. It took me all this time to get this song that is probably not even freaking going to make sense to you. So you say, you need a revolution. All right. Now, I don't even know all the words to this song. I don't think I've ever heard this song all the way through. Um, I know something about Chairman Chow and... Um, I'm trying to get to the main chorus of the song, but so you say you want a revolution is the first thing they're singing to me from this song. So what I'm getting from this, um, <clears throat> it's all right. It's all right. I'm trying to get to the main part of the song where somebody on YouTube, tell me what is the main verse of this song, please. So I don't have to try to muddle through it. Um, and then I, I'm hearing the song. Uh, the verse from another song that says, come together right now over me. So what I'm getting is you need to come to a peaceful resolution on this situation. Yes. Thank you, Genevieve. Thank you, um, Fawn. It is the Beatles. Uh, hey, Lolly, how are you? Um, what I'm getting is it is, uh, you say you, here's the verses. Genevieve was kind enough to, to say this, to, to, to type this out online. She said, you say you want a revolution. You know, we all want to change. Um, we all want to change the world. You tell me it's an evolution. You know, we all want to change the world. Okay, so here's the thing I'm getting from that. Thank you so much, Genevieve. Hey, Amy, what's up? What's what's going on, girl? Um, here's what I'm going to say to you. You want this, what I'm getting from the songs I'm hearing and from what you're saying is you want this, but other people might not be in alignment with your personal wants and needs, and you're going to have to come to a compromise with them. Whether this is, mm -hmm. however you need to do this, you need to come up with an answer that helps everybody be at peace. Now, everybody is not going to love your final choice, but try to bring peace to your final choice is what I'm hearing. 
I do feel like you're going to get a lot Uh of pushback. I feel like one person in particular is never going to be okay with this. You're going to have to decide what's the most important uh, thing for you. Okay, love? Okie dokie. I'm going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide or figure out what is the most important. Is it more important for you to get your result in this matter? Or is it more important to have peace? That's what you're personally going to have to figure out. Okay. 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 And once you figure okay. that out, everything will fall into place, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And your mother and grandmother want to say they love you, but um, take everything into consideration. Here's the thing. You know, when, when our loved ones pass and there are things left behind, um it's always very challenging. It's very, very challenging sometimes to make everybody happy. But, however, um, we have we might have a I don't want to say responsibility. Um, we should take into consideration if somebody else was taking our, the actions that we are taking, would we be okay with it? And if we wouldn't be okay with it, try to rearrange things in the best way possible to make it fair for everybody. Okay. I love you all so much. I will see you Wednesday at noon. Until then, have an absolutely amazing week.